Good morning. It's Tuesday and it's time for our devotion together. Today we're looking at two texts and I'm asking uh, you to think about the two of them together. How do they work together? What do they have in common? Uh, both come from Moses, Deuteronomy 30, 15 to 20, and Numbers 6, 22 to 27. In Deuteronomy, Moses says, and this is a, a part of a bigger speech, uh, look here, today I've set before you life and what's good versus death and what's wrong. If you obey the Lord your God's commandments that I'm commanding you right now by loving the Lord your God, by walking in his ways and by keeping his commandments, his regulations, and his case laws, then you will live and thrive. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away and you refuse to listen and so are misled, worshiping other gods and serving them, I'm telling you right now that you will definitely die. You will not prolong your life on the fertile land that you are crossing the Jordan River to enter and possess. Your, uh, I call heaven and earth as my witnesses against you right now. I have set life and death, blessing and curse before you. Now, choose life so that you and your descendants will live by loving the Lord your God, by obeying his voice, and by clinging to him. That's how you will survive and live long on the fertile land the Lord swore to give to your ancestors, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jumping to Numbers uh, chapter 6, verse 22. <clears throat> the Lord spoke to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, You will bless the Israelites as follows. Say to them, The Lord bless you and protect you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his face to you and grant you peace. This will place my name on the Israelites, and I will bless them. Bum, bum, bum. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace, and give you peace. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Be gracious. The Lord be gracious, gracious unto you. And in the song, there follows a fourfold amen, and there's no way I'm going to duplicate that on my own. So we'll simply say, Amen.